I am finally getting around to making this video on how I schedule or set up uh, classes on VUV or Tencent Meeting. Same thing. So when you open up Tencent Meeting or VUV, you go into Schedule. And the only thing that really matters is up here at the top, I put in my student's name. So let's say my light's moving here. New student demo. None of this other stuff here matters. Start time, date, duration. None of that matters. Uh, if you have it set up for 30 minutes and you go for an hour, it's not a big deal. It's not gonna, it's not gonna cut you off at 30 minutes if that's what you have the meeting set up for. The time limit of 60 minutes is applied when when two attendees join the meeting. I, I don't ever have two, so I guess that's there. Time zone doesn't matter. Here's what matters. Reoccurring. You need to go into reoccurring. This here doesn't matter. You can have it set up as daily, every weekday, every Wednesday. Let's just do every Wednesday. And then this is the big part that matters here. Instead of end on day, you want to change this to occurrences. And change this, the maximum it lets you do is 200. If I try putting in 205, it shows up as 200 because it doesn't allow you to put a number greater than 200 in there. So now I have a meeting set up for 200 occurrences. It does not matter when I go in. I can go in 200 days in a row. I could go in once a year for 200 years. Um, it doesn't matter. You have 200 meetings set up or 200 classes set up by doing this. So none of this stuff up here makes a difference. This reoccurring doesn't make a difference, but you have to open up the reoccurring to get the end on and change this to occurrences in 200. The other thing that I do is I go down here and I hit disable on mute attendees upon entry because I don't want their microphones turned off when they come into the class. I want them because sometimes they're little kids and then they have to figure out how to turn their microphone on. Um, and I also, I, it's set up as default that they can join before me. I go in one minute before the class starts, so a lot of times the student is there waiting for me. Well, about 50-50. Sometimes they come a minute late or right on time. I come in one minute early. And then I hit schedule. And then it pops up this little thing here. Don't copy any of this and send it to your student because none of this, it's just going to be confusing for them. The only thing that you want to copy and send is the link and this number right here. This is their meeting number. So I copy that. What I do is I use, I send this to the student, this, this what I just copied here. I'll send that to the student and say, here's the link and the ID number for our classes. And you can use this for every class that we have together. And then what I do is I use Google Calendar. So I would go in and I would find that student. If I don't have them in there already, I got a schedule. So I go to new student demo here. And under description, I put in that. Now, I don't use the link, so I usually delete that off my Google Calendar. And I just have the ID number. So, And then I save that. And now when I have class with that student, what I'll do is I'll go in and got to get myself out of the way here. I'll go in and copy that and then when I go back into VOOP I hit join I paste that in and voila in a minute I am in the classroom ready for that student now here's how I do my class with the student let me see if I can make my camera a little bit smaller here all right so I come into here what I do is I use super English which in my opinion, is the best curriculum on the planet, for, especially for kids, only for kids right now, which is all I teach. I go up here to curriculum. No, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to let it load back up here. When I'm recording and on Boob, it runs a little slower, but this website's fast. 
So let's say I, I got a speaking lesson with this student and they are upper beginner and they're going to learn about mammals today. So I let that pull up. What I do is I bring this over here, make it much smaller. And then I come in, I share the screen, advanced and partial screen. And then I share. The only thing I share with the student is the lesson itself. And then I have the rest of my desktop on my computer here for me to do things outside of the class that the student can't see. So let me get rid of that. And then, of course, my camera is not up here. This is just for this video. What I do is I bring this here. I go and I turn off show annotator's name because when the student's writing on the screen or I'm writing on the screen I don't want my name blocking some of the text so I turn that off and I bring this so I bring this guy over here and what I do is I make it much bigger so I can see myself and the student when the student pops in I think I'm on top and he's on the bottom if I remember correctly or she's on the bottom but all the student sees is this so you can make this, with this particular curriculum, you could make this full screen camera blocking out and my bar blocking out things for me. The student, went, the student it, I think the student is automatic. Well, it's going to be full screen for them anyways because you're sharing the screen. But let me escape back out of this. I don't like using full screen. What I do... How do I get out? There we go. All right. So the student, like I said, just sees this. And then I scroll through the slides with this student. And that's all they see. If I want to write on the screen, I bring up my tool here. And then I can say, read this. Or I can go to graphics here. And I want a solid circle. And I can make ovals. Um, if you, if there's questions, if there's something you want blocked out while you're asking questions, you could always use this. I would use a square for that instead of a circle, but then you could block this out and have them answer questions without looking at the text if that's something you wanted to do. So Boob has a lot of tools that you can use and the student has these tools also. They're able to write on the screen. So if you have something where the student needs to circle it or write something, they have the ability to do that. That's why I love using Boov, and it's free. Um, so that's all there is to it. And then when the class is over, I just hit stop. I say goodbye to the student, and then see you later. Class is done. So that's as easy as it gets. So if you guys have any questions, Feel free to reach out to me, but otherwise, that's how I use Boob, a.k.a. 